Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension today. Go in serpent form, that's right. This is a modified cat form where your attacks will also do poisonous damage amongst just regular cat form abilities, the extra attack power based off of your agility there. We also have some synergies with some of the cat form abilities. This one in particular, Bloody Claws, you get an additional 25% of your attack power added onto that claw. Less energy so you can spam it a little bit more. This is going to be your main ability here, 29 energy little bit of damage but that kind of scales up quite quite a bit also does the combo point system we also have pretty much a lot of the uh, talents and abilities in the cat form tree of the druid uh trying to get as much agility attack power um anything that can stack with the claw as much as we can and then we also have a couple miscellaneous things we have a couple heals some stuns um we got a couple buffs here these do stack for some reason they weren't supposed to i don't know if that's a bug or if it's intended but you can stack blessing of kings blessing of might all the blessings previously they would just cancel each other out they would just disappear as soon as you popped a different one unless somebody else did it for you we also got aspect of the beast and then basically the rotation is going to look like the claw we usually get the rake and then these guys the shred and the mangle on there just for the debuffs and then we also have a couple things that kind of tie into extra damage for all that. I use Tiger's Fury once I'm ready to kind of just start laying down the damage. I'll basically spam the claw. I'll hit him with a rip at the first combo point. If they're getting any distance, I'll hit him with these Devil's Ignition. This takes mana, so sometimes you have to do it. Be careful with that. You run out of mana kind of quick. But it does some pretty good damage. And plus it being fire, uh, it's kind of nice. If you're fighting melee and they're kind of resistant to the armor and stuff like that and then situational stuff i have this burst of thorns and then also the strength of totem if i'm kind of moving around i'll just use that while i'm gaining distance or something like that we also rolled this venomous fury which i was using for a while but it's not quite as strong as the ferocious bite with the extra energy you can convert if i don't have the energy i can just use this it's a nice little aoe if you're doing mana storm stuff like that and then we also just have a little swipe here for aoe we also have the dash and then this little lunar aspiration is basically just a moon fire just in cat form or whatever you want to use it for we have the death mark so you can basically add all the combo points some heals some barks in for some extra defense the rock biter is great because that's huge for the attack power we are also rolling a big two-handed polearm we just unlocked this with some agility crit all that good stuff here pop in here we have 1600 attack power right now Rolling pretty much all PvP gear, trying to convert over from our uh, old strength build, so mostly it's some of strength still, but still helps out with the attack power there. And then also we have this little seal here, and that's pretty much it for what we've got. We did a lot of re-rolling, but the talents are kind of important. We're kind of rolling a lot of things like agility, um, any movement impairing stuff, so we can kind of get around as much as we can. Anything that's going to give us extra attack power for energy, that kind of stuff. And then Mystic Enchant, sometimes I do forget about these. Uh, energy here, some agility, strength, some stamina, because we have some stuff that's going to... I think it's the Hunter versus Wild. It's going to give us uh, attack power based on our stamina. Uh, there it is right there. And then also we got three these in here because we're doing a lot of auto attacks. So 5% nature, 5% frost, extra damage there. And then this one was pretty good because this is a 6% extra of Claw, Rake, Mangle. So those are some of our big abilities. And Maul, I think Maul is... I don't think we have Maul, but... Uh, and then we also have this physical damage in Nature because of our Poisonous Strikes or Nature. And then this guy right here, which is a little bit extra. But other than that, I think so far it's been working out. It's pretty strong. We can uh, hop into some Battlegrounds. I haven't done any Mana Storms yet, but... I'm sure they'll go great with some of the AoE stuff that we got here. All right, we're about to get into the Battleground, but I also want to remind you guys, don't forget to head over to the call board and pick up the Battleground thing. This says it only gives you 12k, but it gives you 30k when you turn this in. And on top of that, it'll give you a bunch of extra loots. You have 30k there, a little bit of arena points, as well as some scrolls and stuff like that. So you can uh, re-roll as much as you can. We also have the Ice Armor. I don't know if we were able to get Armor to the Teeth. No, but if we did get that, that would be great. A little extra attack power just for having armor. And I was hoping to get the uh, battle shot, but we didn't get that yet. So if we re-roll that, that would be good as well. All right, let's see. So another thing I wanted to mention about this build, if you can roll it, maybe hold on to it. Any kind of stuff for like mana, like for example, there is some of the paladin uh, seals. And I think I have something over here that gives me mana. I think it's this one right here. Switching in and out of form, whether it's a cat form, serpent form, whatever it is, it uses up a lot of mana because you'll get out, you'll heal, and then you can't get back into it because you're out of mana. So you just kind of kind of keep that in the back of your head. If you have any add-ons that show your nameplates, make sure you can always see the mana even when you're in the form because you're going to lose that pretty quickly as we're kind of getting shredded by these little imps over here. 
All right, boys, we're over here in the good old dead mines. A little bit of main and storm action. Let's see what we're doing here. We're gonna pop out a loot box now. Look at this boy. Look at all the mushrooms again. I'd like to see if uh, the serpent was immune a little bit to the uh, nature damage resistance. No, I just have frost resistance, probably from like a piece of gear or something. Alright, let's still over here and take out Mr. Chief Guy. And now we're with all these uh, guys that are on us, we can use our AOE uh, uh, breath or venice strikes or something like that, and does pretty good damage. And we can also use our swipe. Have we just spam that up? Oh, we don't get any uh, any combo points for that one. So we can generate some combo points here and lash that with the venomous strikes. We just gotta keep moving because these damn mushrooms they do a lot of damage. Go. Nice. We'll head out here into the next one, Razor Fen. Razor Fen. All right, here's the boss right here. Go on the uh, buffs on him. Him with a double ferocious bite. Waiting for some energy, so we'll use up our uh, thorn stuff and our little flame ability. Yeah, so once you run out of energy, you kind of get a little bit screwed until you can get some more back. So. And those few extra abilities here, whatever you're able to roll, might help out a little bit, keeping you uh, on top there, especially in like PvP. Captain Greenskin right here too. Oh, we got stunned. Bam! Right. Nice. We just got Captain Greenskin to take out real quick. Don't take no damage too. Oh, we just kicked this out because we killed the uh, boss. Yeah, so far on the man storm is pretty good. I get a lot of different sets of abilities here. Um, probably would want to go a little bit more AOE wise if you're planning on doing mana storm, and maybe a little bit more CC stuff like an uh, interrupt or something would be good. We didn't get to roll any of those though. Usually we try to get those because we do a lot of PvP. Oh, there's some people here. And deep down. Who's bad? That's right. We bad. Let's get this little guy hanging out. Let's see if we can take him out before the uh, portal closes. Ah, oh, just in time. Alright, boys, we're in the temple here. Let's we'll see if we can uh, maybe get some good fights without getting mobbed. The only caveat about the uh, battlegrounds is just getting mobbed sometimes. Same with a double ferocious. Even here, he's kind of messing us up. I think I got him, but at what cost? Let's see if we can just do that and just get out of here. Get a healer two off. This guy's gonna want to slap us right now. Just have to be careful when you overheal because I don't run out of mana. I'll wait for him to come down here. Got this boar. Look at this big boy. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Alright, boys, get ready for this slithery snack to hop out of the bush and ambush. A couple boys on the way. What is this guy doing? Look oh, like a crab. Some big damage to him early on. Alright, he's down. Look like we got some backup and some heals. Thanks, boys. Oh shit, that was a big boy. Big explosion. Alright, let's see. 
Just have to go check out the mines, maybe. This guy doesn't know there's someone behind him. Oh man. Alright, buddy. The mine's ours. Yoink! Yeah, this uh, fire blasting that we got, this devil's ignition, is really strong, but it does take a minute to get to them. It's not like an instant fire blast, more of like a fireball. Or pyro blast. just steamrolling this team. I feel so bad I happened to have this happen to me every once in a while too, and it kinda sucks. But man, I I'll just get it over with. Boys, while we're hanging out here waiting for this match to end and hopefully they're uh get some mercy up there the class is pretty cool i really like the serpent form i think it's a unique take i've always liked cat forms i know back in the day like missed something area i used to main cat form it was awesome the only caveat about this is, is trying to get a good build for it i got a decent amount of stuff here but i think some finding would be really good and i know i was doing a lot more damage before level 60 probably just because not everybody was like decked out and able to re-roll as much or spent more time re-rolling than i have but there's definitely some stuff in here that should and could be tweaked probably a little more attack power maybe some better gear and stuff like that i was rolling this single pole arm i seemed like that was pretty good doing some of the math on some of the other ones it seemed pretty good i don't know if there's a big difference between this and dual wield for agility with the cat form because they have the extra cooldown and everything and the cost so that might factor in pretty good and you just lose that 20 percent there at the crit but overall it was really cool there is some other cool venomous abilities we got serpent venom that's pretty cool you get any of those that would probably be a good synergy because then you can refer back to our last build the poisons and factor in a lot of those perks that give you the nature damage buff see we got the hydra's venom that's pretty good that uses rage so you can use the modifiers there don't know if the venom will work because it might be a rogue one it might take it out of the cat form that's what you kind of have to be careful for this one says it's a, a usable while shape shifted so that's good dispatch probably wouldn't be able to work anything that is uh venom is probably going to be very good because it's all nature damage but yeah if you can combine some of that with some of the nature stuff maybe even get some poisons in there and there is the let's see i think it's in one of these this right here is usually pretty good it's gonna some extra damage plus the poisoned if you can get some of that to roll in or even maybe the poison weapons a bunch of different aspects for the build but other than that it's a really cool little build there i do see this running around a lot especially when it first came out it's nice to finally get into it a little bit and uh, roll some decent stuff so don't forget to like and subscribe. Any suggestions for future builds, let me know. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.